What's going on? It's the Mad Hatter Show, the podcast version, and I'm here with a good friend that was helping me out today. Oh, yeah. But uh, always been a good friend. Go DJ High C. I don't know if that's the official Go DJ High oh, yeah, can, we, can, we, can, we, can we still yeah, go with yes, that? Yes, sir. Yes, First sir, First of all, man. thanks for being a part of the podcast. Oh, yeah, man. I know it's on short notice. Yeah. I know you're running from spot to spot because you you just flew in. You're going to probably yeah. be flying now. <laughs> Keisha, uh, Keisha Cole's uh, DJ. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you just do so much, Hasi. Here's, here's what I really want to say. I really want to say thank you. And Hasi probably doesn't know why I want to say thank you. Every time I've turned to this brother for anything, he's been right there. And uh, here's how I really met Hasi. It was a club. This is so many years ago. I don't remember the year, but this is when I was doing my music thing. And it was one of the first singles that I ever put out. And I started making these club runs. Uh, at you know every night get off the air work all day at night in the clubs trying to promote my music right and I walked in this one miscellaneous club I heard this guy uh, high C was gonna be mixing there he's the hot DJ in the city one of the hot DJs in the city I like well let me go by there shake his hand uh, you know give him a record see if he'll play it <laughs> I walked in this club and this dude was already playing my record yes, he don't remember this first one now he might remember some of the other ones now here's the funny thing every time I went to a club to say what's up to High C, he was mysteriously playing my record. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if somebody's running and telling this dude yeah. that Hatter's walking in or what, but I'm like, man, what kind of love is this? Because some of those songs are very lukewarm, my friend. <laughs> uh, but for whatever reason, you know, High C is one of those people that show love to people, man. So yeah. I just really want to pay homage to you, find out who you are. I know you're running, so I like, let me do at least a short version to do the who, oh, what, yeah. where, when, why, and what's the next move for High C. Yeah. But I want to say thank you for that because on Every occasion when I went to these clubs, I walk in the club. As soon as I like my foot get in, you can hear music. Doot, doot. Yeah. I'm like, man, somebody's telling this dude I'm here, man. Somebody done told him that I'm playing. But I just want to say thank you, man. But who is High C? I know you, that you're one of the biggest DJs ever in mm. Houston. You started the, your own coalition of the Go DJs. You put out records. Yeah. And I ain't here to get into none of the scandals. I just want to know, for those that don't know you, right. let's talk about all the great things you did, how you got to the city of Houston. But I know you're from D-Town. Right. So, man, first of all, I want to say, you know, uh, thanks for the, you know, pre I appreciate you for saying thank you, man. And just being who you are, me coming into the city, it was all about how to, for me. You know what I'm saying? Like being on the radio, and that was like one of the biggest things I want to do. And then by you being on the radio, and then when I finally met you, you were just this cool dude. My expectations, uh, my, not my expectation, but I had you way up here, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> you being way up here, but then you still showed me love like that, and they just stuck with me still to this day. That's why anytime you call me, I'm gonna show up. Yeah, you you know what I'm saying? Like, so you was a giant, you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, if only if I can get them to see me. And then you were just a great person, man. That's why I'm here today. And, um, and uh, I moved to Houston, in 1990, uh, 1997, uh, to go to TSU on the Greyhound bus, I, I didn't have nothing. A backpack, and then on the Greyhound bus to go to freshman orientation at TSU. Mm -hmm. And uh, What was you majoring in? Uh, television and radio communication. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, the minor in business. Okay. And uh, so what happened was, I, uh, when I got to TSU, I didn't even have nowhere to stay. I stepped on a, a dorm staircase until it was time for me to, you know, go back to my orientation. Oh, wow. So I would get up and shower because they had community showers. Yeah, yeah. I would get up and shower. Then, um, you know, uh, then I finally got housing. So I had this Greystone. I started staying in Greystone. And then I started DJing parties in Greystone. And Greystone went to TSU. I was pushing my speakers from TSU to Greystone. Then I started pushing them from Greystone to U of H. Were you already DJing in Dallas? Or yes, something I was that, DJing. Okay, so you was but already DJing. Got, you just got, got serious here. Okay, okay. I got my refund check, and I was able to buy me some real equipment. <laughs> <laughs> I got me like $2,500, and I went and got me some real equipment. Uh -huh. And then uh, from one college to the next one, to the next college to this one. Now, the radio station, I got Go DJs. Now, how'd you come up with doing the Go DJs? Because this is a coalition that uh, High C started with mm -hmm. a whole bunch of DJs. And right. They started, I don't know, but like a record pool. I don't it know was, how you would it describe it. It started out as a record pool, but it, 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 well, it actually started out as me booking the DJs because Reggie Reg was my. Reggie to, Reg. Yeah, yeah, Reggie Reg, man. He didn't want to actually name the Go DJ. Oh, wow. And uh, so um, at first he was carrying my crates, but then Serato came out. So he didn't, I would pay him to carry my crates, but then when Serato come out, it's nothing but a bag. Need you. <laughs> right, so I said, well, hey, man, let's just start a coalition where we booking DJs. You know, we had about, like, a couple of DJs of mine. You know, hey, we gonna book y'all, then Reggie Reggie get the cutoff of that. You know, he started booking me, too, so he was doing all our books, and that was another way to, you know, help him get paid, you know? 
And so then it went from that, we got so big, to record labels started calling like, hey man, y'all, we want to give y'all some of our records to break. So then that's how, it, um, you know, spilled over into breaking records. Wow. You wow. know, and then we went from 100 DJs, now we like sitting about like 275 DJs. So, and then I know, do, do you still have the meetings? I know there was meetings that you guys um, would have, decide what records y'all put in the well, mix. Well, I, I, I kind of shied away from that. Okay. Uh, I, I kind of lost the love of doing that, but now I focus on booking the DJs more than anything. Now. Okay, okay. But we, okay. you know, we still do conference calls, you know what I'm saying, ask, you know, see how everybody's doing, and you know, if they want to share their records, they can, you know, but I, I kind of shied away from it. Was this the end goal, what you're doing now? I know you're jet setting. Um, you, a prominent, you know, R&B singer, you heard DJ. Man. How do, how do all these things transition? And then I want to find out what's the next moves for DJ House. Well, go DJ. Yeah, uh, DJ and Vakisha Cole has been like a true blessing because my whole goal in life was for, I ain't never want to be the best DJ. I ain't wanted to be the number one DJ. All I wanted is people to know who I was. And then mm -hmm. by DJ and Vakisha Cole, she done took me all yeah, over the world, yeah. you know. And, uh, and that, I get to spread my name to people. So that was a blessing. And, uh, I'm right in the pocket with it. I'm I'm, I'm up in age now. I'm, I'm, 40, I'm 45 years old. I'm proud to say, you know, sometimes the people be scared to say, but I'm I'm proud to be 45, man. And it's being to still be in the game. Yeah. I'm still DJing every night. My only off day is on Monday. You know, just like I just left uh, out of town. This he got job. off the plane, yeah. came to an straight event here. to make sure that I was straight yep. at the event. Yep. To, to then he got to flip out of here and yep. go to I gotta go his DJ. own event. I got to DJ at camp, but then after camp I have a wedding at 4 o'clock. You don't, This don't burn <laughs> you out, man? I know. I love it. This is my piece. Really? It's my piece. And um, I, it's, you know, trying to break artists' records, That I got burnt out on that. But, like, when I get behind that um, turntables and I start playing music, it's like I get my fix. It's like a drug, you know? Mm. So when I'm back there, this music just take me to a whole nother place. And then to see people reacting like that, it just, it, it, it's like a drug. It's like a relief for me. Now, I know that in the past you had put out some music too and mm -hmm. you was doing the music blast. Yep. Is that something that you ever plan to go back to? Oh, uh, I think I will. And just really quick, it. just run through uh, some of the songs. Oh, I did uh, Church. I did uh, Houston is Certified. I have a list of artists of Pokey, Bunt B, Slim Thug, you know, all the Houston greats on there. And a couple of young cats that's now hot. You know, DJ XO was produced my whole album, you know wow. what I'm saying? Before anybody was really, you know. So I did and it, it, the collaboration was good for everybody, you know, and uh but I will kind of dabble back into it after a while. You know what I'm saying? And you know, because it, it's a bunch of new artists out there that may need, you know, give them the help. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I might dabble in it a little bit. So what's the next, what's the, the, the three to five year plan for Go DJ High? So City? right now, I... Because I see you, you're building yes, homes that's, and property. That's it, that's it. You're doing TV that's, shows yes, with the wife. It, I mean, because yes. I can see that you dedicated <laughs> right. to this woman. <laughs> yeah. You let her be well, no, it's yeah. well documented yeah. that this woman is your woman. Yeah, and she, she changed my life. She gave me a whole different perspective on life and eating good, healthy, you know, just about regular health and being, just living instead of just being the living, you know? I feel that. You know, yeah. and just taking out the trash, I enjoy that now. <laughs> you know, just the stuff that I, you know, looked over, but now you sit back and, you know, I, I appreciate stuff like that, you know, being able to be a husband and stuff like that. But these next couple of uh, years, three year, three to five years, I'm um, I'm going heavy into real estate. And I, we, we had an event. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I done took all my DJ money that I had saved up and invested into these properties. Over the last two or three years, I bought four different properties. Oh, man. Yeah, and uh, we're we're putting container homes on them. I saw that. And I'm we're supposed doing to go out and visit when I ain't yeah, doing that yet. Yeah, you, you owe me. I do, I do owe you. So we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're doing that. And also, um, you know, we're doing a vacation rental, so you can come in there and rent it. Are we also doing properties where you can just come buy the whole property with the container home on it? Okay. And um, and also right now my main focus is now is as far as the music industry and the entertainment is doing TV shows. We got, I'm a, I'm a the president of um, a produ not producing but the president of Lord Jesus what is product not production but programming. Mm -hmm. I'm the pre president of programming, so I'm doing a bunch of shows. I've done recorded some already. And it's called indie, and it's, it's like indie films, indie artists, indie TV shows, and uh, you know we was able to be on uh, Oprah Winfrey TV Network. Mm -hmm. So after that, that just kind of even sparked us even more okay. to even just run our way into it. So that's my next three to five years. All know? right, man, don't forget me, dog. Oh, I'm. I'm anytime you call me, I'm coming. You, you the did. giant. You did, man. Whatever you call. <laughs> 
He be there, man. I'm, I'm coming. Look, we, we doing the abbreviated because I'm going to get a longer one with High C when we can really sit down and chop it up and sit back and take our time. <laughs> but I know that he is on the move and he got vents and I don't want to keep him away from it. Yeah. But I did want to take this time while it was a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day right here on the lawn. So we can so we can just chop it up yes, sir. so he can say hello to y'all people. And uh, I can't wait for y'all to see him again. Oh, and, yes. All you got to do is follow them, all your socials. Uh, it's Go DJ High CEO on Instagram, my thread, my Facebook is uh, Craig, Go DJ High C Williams. <laughs> and, uh, you know, y'all, you know, our Instagram, my, my uh, YouTube is The Cool AC, The Cool AC Show. Y'all look us up and check us out, man, me and my wife. And they can go, they can go back and see the back yeah, episodes can, as yes. well. All the episodes that was, behind, you know, the first ones we did to now. And they get greater. The older ones kind of, you know, <laughs> start now. But you can tell as we get. They got as better. The longer you go, the better yes. they get, Yes, man. sir. I just appreciate you, Hasi, oh, man. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. You're a blessing. I think you've done great things in the city. Mm -hmm. I... I I can anybody say something? Can't nobody come around me and say nothing bad. About Same you. to you, man. I, I, I will, I will walk away or cuss them out or yeah. something like that because I just, I don't see bad in you, man. I appreciate somebody you. probably connected. Well, you don't know him the way I know him, but I don't know him for that, man. I only know him for good, man. Yeah. So, man, just keep spreading your good, keep yes, spreading sir. your love. Go man. DJ High, seeing the building. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all. Thank you, brother.